Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the research impact. Today we will discuss about what is the H index. So you might uh, heard about that or you might see on your Google Scholar or the Scopus that this is the H index of the certain order. What is the meaning of this? Also what is the meaning of the I10 index are there? So myself Dr. Gar working in the School of Mathematics Thapar Institute India. So first of all what is the h index that's the objective of this short video is there we will see and discuss in detail how we can calculate the h index with respect to the each author and the journal wise so this firstly what is the h index is this h index is initially proposed by j e h in 2005 and the the corresponding result is published in the proceeding of the national academy of science of the united states of america so according to this uh, hirsch this uh h index first of all this is a quantitative matrix so it is not the qualitative it's a quantitative matrix which will define based on the analysis of the publications by using the publications and their citation details also it provides an estimation of the importance significance and the impact of the scientific or the scientist to the cumulative research contributions or you can say we can say in the short terms that h index is a numerical indicator because it's a it's a quantitative so we can say it's a, a numerical indicator which will define how the productive and influence the researcher is so once we have defined the h index so what is the meaning of that is a productive and influence researcher is for example or you can say uh, what is the uh, this uh, here uh, says that what is the definition of the h index is any of the article or uh, sorry any of the scientist or the researcher has index h if out of the total n paper h of his articles has at least h citations are there and all those remaining articles that is n minus h articles have less than strictly less than h citations are there so it means what is the meaning of that is if i explain you with the help of the example the meaning of this at least and remaining so say this is uh, for example this is my google scholar profile are there so you can see the h index of my is 63 what is the meaning of that this 63 is there so you can see not from the 2060 you can see all are there so h index of my is 63 what is the meaning of that is it means the, uh, the among all those publication whatever the number of the publication i have uh, published so the among all those publications 63 of these publication have received 63 citations each look at that this has the citation more than 63 this has the citation more than 63 and so on so how many articles are there whose citation is more than 63 is here also if you want to analyze uh, also uh, similarly you can see the remaining of the n minus h articles has it means the remaining of the 60 out of the total n n minus 63 articles has less than of the 63 citations uh you can also see on the uh, scopus are there if you want to uh, look on the scopus you can check your scopus index also so you can see the h index is 56 it means all those articles which are indexed in the scopus and uh, the 56 articles has citation of at least 56 is there now how you can calculate your h index based on your publications so that i can uh, tell you how you can calculate that so you can uh, uh, record you can arrange your publication in that descending order as per their citations like here for example if you look at this previous slides are there you can see all these citations uh, all these citation informations are listed in the descending order 426 425 257 and so on so firstly you can arrange them all the information in either in the excel or in the manually so you can arrange them say for example here now you can draw the graph how you can draw the graph is this is my serial number 1 say the serial number 1 has my 25 213 is there serial number 2 that is here article number 2 is 165 and so on so the graph will be look like say here once you will draw the graph then you can draw the straight line y is equal to x in between them and this is called as the point of the intersection and this point of intersection is called as the h index is there so means uh, all those all uh, how many articles which are listed here is the counting of the h index for example the same graph of this so you can see what is the y is x so you can see here 
look at that why this is the y is equal to x so you can see this point that is a 8 will lies below them so from here you can see the h index is my 8 why what is what is the h index 8 means the number of the articles which are whose citation is more than of the 8 is my here this is also the equality 8 but the but the counting is my 9 so which is not be greater than which is less than of this so the citation the h index for this dummy example is my 8 definitely you can see that the high the h index more the researcher impressive are so you can see the again i can open this slide for you you can see the if h index is 63 so it means 63 articles are there similarly what is the meaning of the i10 i10 means this is the 204 means the 204 articles published by me has citation more than or equal to 10 like say this is a one article this is a second this is a third and so on this is more than 10 articles are there whose more than 204 articles are there whose citation is greater than or equal to 10 so what we can say is that the h index is nothing but my uh, high uh, high the h index more the researcher impressive is so in the nutshell we can again say that uh, h index is nothing but the productive and influence researcher is so if i uh, quickly go to the uh, google scholar profile so you can see if i open for you so you can see now h index is now 64 it means if i arrange them all these articles in in the 64 so you can see you can see all these articles which are greater than of the 64 are here so you can see all are whenever it is a greater than or equal to 64 you can see here so it means up to here these are my 64 articles are there and what is the i10 is that is number of the articles which are published great uh, who are cited more than 10 times are there so you can see the articles and so on so and so on so you can see 200 are there and after that you can see are here so four articles more while the rest of them are there. so if this article is cited one more time so it will enter into here then h index will be goes to the 205 are there. so this is the way you can ask them about the h index if you find to find the more other videos related to the research direction like how you can check whether the journal is indexing scopus indexing how you find this springer matrix how you can track them and so on you can simply follow this research direction the channel name is dr girl till then you can simply follow this link uh, and you can share this video to your friends best of luck students happy learning thank you very much